Hi Kinders! Today we're going to look at a different way that we could think about tens and ones. Um, this way is a way that will help you count really big numbers. Okay? So, first, look at these sticks that I have here. What, how many do you think is there? What would be your estimate of how many sticks are there? Different people might have different estimates. Um, you know, if we were in class, some kids might say 100. Some kids might say 54. Some kids might say 27. Some kids might say 13. It's your estimate. Looking at those, how many do you think are there? Do you have your estimate? Okay. So how you do this way of thinking about tens and ones when you're using, usually we use popsicle sticks, but I forgot my popsicle sticks at school. So I'm using these little match sticks. Can you see one? So how we do it is we get them into groups of tens. So I'm going to, I'm going to get ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, I dropped one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep, I need one back, ten, okay, I have my ten sticks, I'm going to take one of these rubber bands, oh, it's hard to hold on to them, I'm going to take one of these rubber bands, and I'm going to wrap it around it, now what I have is called a bundle, a bundle of sticks, is 10 sticks okay so I have a bundle so I have one ten one ten because a bundle is ten okay now I need some more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you double check it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and I need another one again bundle those up okay now I have another bundle which means I have two tens how much is two tens 10 20 okay we need to mark make some more bundles three four five six seven eight nine ten all right I've got another one bundle them up Okay, there we go. Now I have three bundles, which means three tens, which means 10, 20, 30. Still have some more single sticks. Ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we've got one. Bundle them up. How many do I have now? Four bundles means four tens which means one, two, three, four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. Still have more sticks. Are we getting close to your estimate yet? Okay, do I have three, six, nine? Yep, I have 10 there. Bundle them up. Okay, here we go. How many do I have now? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I still have some sticks by themselves. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's bundle it up. Bundled it up. How many bundles do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many tens do I have? Six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Ooh, I still have some single sticks. Let's see if we can make another bundle. Do you think we can make another bundle? Hmm, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I have seven. Can I bundle them up? I cannot bundle them up because if I bundled these up, then somebody would look at them and think that they are a ten. But they're not. They're only seven. So I cannot bundle them. Okay, so we have some tens and some ones. These are our tens, the bundles. These are our ones, the single sticks. Okay, so how many do we have all together in tens and ones? Let's count our bundles first, our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we have six tens, how many do we have? 60, right? 60. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones, seven single sticks, which equals seven. So 67. We had 67 sticks in that pile of sticks. And it's much easier to count them now that we have these bundled into tens, right? Do you know how long it would have taken to count 67 single sticks? A really long time. But now we can do this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. It's much quicker. Okay, let me show you your paper for this week, or for today. Uh, let me find it. Here it is. It says, Students have been working on counting tens and ones. Count the bundles of ten, or groups of ten, first. Next, count the ones and find out how many in all. Okay, so here you go, look. There's some bundles. Ten, twenty. That's two tens. Do we have any ones? Nope, so that's a zero. So that number would be ten, twenty. Twenty. Then down here you have some of the dots, the double ten frames like we were using yesterday. Same thing. You see this ten, or this ten, and you know that's a ten, so we have only one ten, and then some more ones, and then what's the total? Right? I hope you have an amazing day.